When Audi introduced the A5, there was little doubt it would serve as the replacement for the A4 Cabriolet. This is a relatively new venture for the German car maker that built its first convertible in 1991 and has continued to offer a Cabriolet in its catalogue for the last 18 years. With a consistent rise in sales, Audi would have been woefully mistaken not to carry on, and this new car has plenty of arguments in its favour. Despite somewhat generous dimensions, the Cabriolet's lines are as attractive as those on the coupe, 4 meters 63 long and 1 meter 85 wide. The A5 Cabriolet exudes finesse. The interior is on par with Audi's reputation of offering top-of-the-line ergonomics. The finish quality and the materials chosen are first-rate, but unfortunately there are, as usual, many options to choose from the catalogue which are not offered on the base model. In a departure from the norm, we test drove the basic version, equipped with a 180 brake horsepower 2.0-litre TFSI, while waiting for the arrival of a 1.8-litre motor. This car has an automatic six-speed gearbox, but it didn't come with the Audi Drive Select mode, which means to say this version is more about comfort than anything else. A job very well done on the twisty bits. The only reservations concern the size of the car, which is a lot more imposing behind the wheel than it may seem from the observer's perspective. We'll have to find wider stretches of road to pick up the pace. Comfort remains intact with an absence of any turbulence in the interior, however the supplementary reinforcements destined to make up for the absence of a solid roof add nearly another 200 kilos. This added weight penalises both acceleration and brake performance, which makes the car rather lethargic entering the corners. The power steering tends to stiffen up with quite a bit of a delay when employing wheel correction exiting the corners, which is another of its downsides. To sum up, this version of the A5 cab doesn't like being overtaxed and obliges the driver to calm his intentions. The time has come to close the soft top that's in line with Audi tradition. Other than being lighter than a retractable roof, this system doesn't distort the lines and offers more storage space. The only inconvenience is that it filters less wind noise, but Audi proposes a solution on option though, with a roof dotted with soundproofing foam. To assure drivers with a more sporting nature, there is an S5 Cabriolet version, same silhouette but with a 333 brake horsepower motor, Quattro Sport system and a DSG 7-speed gearbox which is a radical departure from the standard A5 stock top.